Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. So in the last episode we started on some bees. And we're we're still being. We're we're still we're still doing this. So I have yet to get a nomad bee, which is the one thing that's kind of holding me back. Uh I got enough flowerite bees. Uh so now we are producing flowerite comb. So if I come in here. We've got a ton of flowerite comb already. There's a 50% chance that it will produce flowerite when centrifuged. So we do need to start doing the centrifuge. Uh, I made myself a charged porter, and the reason is because I am sick of flying up here. So now that we can fly up here, we are good to go on that. Uh, this guy needs to be importing flowerite, so how much... I don't have any flower right on in my inventory system right now. So that's good. The reason that's good is because that means that any flower right that I've gotten recently has just automatically gone out of the system. So let's come back down here. So the only thing that we're still working towards is that sulfur bee. So that sulfur bee is not doing its thing. I also replaced my doors with uh, ethereal glass. So now I don't even have to worry about uh, going in and out of the thing. I thought you were a loot bee, but I think it may have just messed up whatever it was doing because it keeps going in and out of the hive. So maybe it's just now a glowing bee. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this guy, we are still waiting a uh, huh, long time for those to actually give me any kind of bee. So in the meantime, I'm going to start resetting up my machines here and try to get these machines a bit more automated. Uh, so like my centrifuge, my uh, incubator, my honey generator. So the honey generator I thought made honey, but it's the opposite. It actually uses honey to make power, which don't have to worry about power anymore. So the breeding chamber, I might st I'm might. i still gonna need that because we still need to wait for um, the other guys, the um, the nomad bee so i can make these guys here so i can finally get my sulfur bee so i do need my centrifuge i need my bottler and i will go ahead and set up my uh, breeders here so the powered centrifuge and the bottler can sit next to each other because what it does is that it's going to take anything from the centrifuge and put it into the bottler and then it can make bottles of honey and then my incubator so all of these need power so i can uh come here and i can just very quickly mine some of this out and i can put power down here uh the bottler may not need power i think the bottler is the only one that doesn't need power so then i need my flux point that's going to give me power in my uh, cables here and i also need like one more basic cable basic cable i'm just going to go ahead and craft eight of those and then we're going to put you here so then i can come down here really quick i'm just going to pop you down so that's going to power all of my machines up here so then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the back and on this side, I know I'm, I'm getting kind of into my Batania area, but I'm, I'm, I'm not super worried about Batania right now. Uh, so I'm just going to move some of this away for now. Like eventually when I need Batania, I do, I set this up so I could get, um, living wood and all of that. And like, do that thing but it's just it, it it's taken up space it didn't work exactly how i thought it was going to so i'm just not going to worry about these right now but i do have a cable hookup that i can then uh, start running to this so i'm going to take this out because in the backs of these machines I'm going to need one of them to always get bottles. So I'm going to need to grab my importers and some exporters or interfaces. So let me grab some importers. 
some exporters. And I'm not going to worry about interfaces because I still don't know how they work. So I think... So because these are... Oh, oh well, it, it's fine. B, bees are going to escape. These are the bees that matter. And these guys won't leave the hive. So if anything leaves these hives, I, they're just normal bees. So I'm, I'm really not worried about them at all. So this is going to automatically output into this so i need this to export combs into this centrifuge so if i come around to the back here my powered centrifuge you are going to export combs um so i don't know if i need to so you specifically need to export flowerite You need to export flowerite combs specifically, but I'm going to try and turn you to exact mode off and then maybe it'll just dump all of the productive bees uh, stuff in there. So I'm not 100% sure on that. We will have to just test that. So then I can pop underground into my area down here. Uh, probably going to need... Oops, that didn't place where I wanted it to, but that's fine. I'm going to need some more cables. I'm just going to go ahead and craft up like 12 more for now. That should be as far as I need it to go. Um, so I'm going to actually be able to tap into this system here. Like that. probably get rid of these blocks here i'm i'm, I'm gonna make a better jetpack at some point i promise it's just it's annoying that i have to keep i can't hover i don't know why so let me get rid of that so you are going to start exporting comb okay so you are also extracting zinc comb so that's good which means you are just going to extract any kind of of that so then you need to import back into the system so can I do that from the top here instead of putting a block in front because if I can go to this side and I can just pop that there as long as you don't extract zinc comb which I don't think you should, but just in case, I'm going to blacklist combs. So that way you should just do the import thing. So it's going to import all of those. That's awesome. I, I wish there were covers. I think there are. I don't know. Like ways to make this kind of look better. Like blocks that can go around these blocks i don't know or a way that i could transport power and um the importers and exporters but i i don't think there is there's no way in refined storage to actually transport power through your system so this is automatically getting honey so you need to import empty bottles so you need to actually, you need to export empty bottles. You need to put empty bottles in you. And then you need to import back into the system. So I might need some more importers. Let's just get like five. I'm sure I'll need them down the line later on. So it's better to just have more. Uh, so I'm going to export uh, honey bottles into you. So you, I can make faster with these guys. I had some of these in my system here, but I don't think that does anything. So if I put it in my centrifuge instead, it's going to centrifuge faster. So then my importers, 
will sit here and you are going to pull just honey. So I'm going to whitelist honey bottles just in case, just so it doesn't pull out empty bottles here. So it's just going to do that and it's just going to cycle through that way. You are going to keep centrifuging that. So I am going to take some of my decoration blocks and probably build just a little off shoot back here. So my bee incubators, I mean, my breeding chamber doesn't need anything going into it. So you're fine. So I'm actually going to just set something up kind of like this. And then my bee incubator doesn't need anything going in it as well. So that's just gonna get this. So if I just build that little bit right there, it doesn't look great, but it, it prevents that from kind of looking too bad. And then I just fill that space in. I can still see way down there, so. Mm, I don't think there's really any way that I'm gonna be able to like cover this spot up like that especially with you sitting there that's fine i'm just i'm just not going to look down there it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me so i am going to take you and just try to make this look nice if i can uh put just some pretty little flower stuff there all right cool so hopefully nothing really gets back there. Uh, I could probably just put a block here. All right, so now you're centrifuging flowerite, which means you are getting... Sorry if y'all can hear that. I don't know how to spell. All right, so any flowerite that comes out of here is automatically getting sucked back into the system up there awesome i just need to make the same setup for sulfur i just need these guys to actually give me a nomad bee i i have tried like 700 times not exactly but i i have done this a lot um so you still have two bees in you that's fine you have all your flowerite bees you have regular bees this has just kind of an assortment of bees I, I may not be getting some resources from some of these guys, but it doesn't fully matter. As long as I'm getting flowerite and um, the other one. What's the other one that I'm talking about? Sulfur. So I might actually make a second centrifuge and put it here. So then that way it's feeding back into this and I can double my production because eventually I'm going to have sulfur and flowerite going in there so having double the amount of speed and double the amount of processing power is good so eventually i'm gonna run out of that flowerite so it's probably not gonna be too much more and then once once i get my nomad bee that's all i'm really waiting for i did uh make a bee book i don't know why i didn't do that at the beginning of last episode so it gives me a little bit of stuff because I do want to maybe get into genetics. I don't think I need to though. Like all of these bees, I think all that does is like increase their production speed. And because I already have these guys, we're okay. So really it's just waiting on that sulfur bee. So I'm going to come over here really quick and just go ahead and make another powered centrifuge. Productive bees. Uh, heated centrifuge it's ruining the honey I don't know what that one does is it in the book centrifuge processing resources holds up to 10 buckets of liquid which can be pumped out will automatically output fluids um, yeah so it doesn't say anything specifically Gene indexer, honey generator, expansion boxes are fine. Miscellaneous? No? 
the Nomad Bee, which is what I'm trying to get to. Mechanism? Bees for mechanism materials, list of ingot bees. Yeah, we already know that. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't see anything about the heated centrifuge, so I'm just going to make a normal one uh, at productive bees. Uh, powered centrifuge needs a regular centrifuge, which needs this guy. Centrifuge. Actually, I think I already have some cauldrons. Yeah, I still have cauldrons left over from like way back at the beginning. Uh, so I just need to make the circuit dude and then a powered centrifuge. So I'm just gonna put a second one where my breeder is and then I'll move the breeder to another spot. So you can sit there, which means I am going to need another importer, which I think I already have in my inventory because I never put that away. Awesome, that can go there. Come back around the back, um, and you can get another exporter to put bottles, glass bottles, which means I just need to put another little bit of shrubbery right there. And then you are going to whitelist regular honey bottles no wait no you you're doing um so you need to blacklist combs uh where's my do i still have any flower right combs Um, right, so you need to whitelist any kind of comb, exact mode off, and then you need to blacklist any kind of comb, exact off. So you should be doing something now. Okay, there you go. And now you're doing that again. Awesome. Please tell me my system isn't dying. If my system is dying, I don't know what to do anymore. Um, so you should also be getting just any kind of comb. I don't want to do my regular honeycomb. I just want to do the productive bees combs. And then, because the regular honeycombs I need for honey treats and all of that kind of stuff. Like, there's other stuff I need honeycombs for. All right, uh, we have not gotten a Nomad Bee. So honey treats, I'm just gonna start making another 10 of these and I'm gonna kill these bees. You're an ashy mining bee, you're a chocolate bee, you are a, another ashy mining bee. So I can get rid of you, I can get rid of you, and I can get rid of you. Feel bad killing them, but I mean, I, I, I don't need them anymore. This is my bee box, like I've got all of these bees that I'm not even using right now because I'm waiting just to be able to incubate them and uh, breed them. So here's my breeder again. Uh, some more cable. Just throw that right there. Throw a breeder here. Can I turn you around just for aesthetics? Probably not. Can I get a wrench? And turn you around what about a crescent hammer no I cannot so it's truly for aesthetic reasons it has nothing to do with how this block is gonna function so no apparently the answer is no you cannot turn that around um, that's fine so that's all good. So still just waiting, waiting on those bees. I'm trying to get this draconic bee in here, 
to turn this into a crying obsidian block. It has yet to do it. So I don't know what to say about that. Why do you have liquid experience in you and a water bottle? Why do you have liquid experience in you? Oh, probably because I have bees that produce liquid experience. Hmm, that might be a problem. I do have bees that will do liquid experience. Can that not be bottled? Can I not just... Okay, so you're gonna whitelist. I think, I think I saw a water bottle in there as well. So whitelist water bottle. Can I just do Minecraft bottle? Uh, and then apotheosis bottles of experience. Would it be a bottle of enchanting? Okay, so productive bees. Let me see. So at productive bees, there's an experience bee. I think it's this guy. So this guy, usage, makes the experience comb. The usage for him and a centrifuge makes liquid experience. And the usage on that in a bottler makes a bottle of enchanting. Okay, that's what I thought it would have done. So I'm just gonna put bottles of enchanting in here. So that way, just in case I ever get more experience back in there, it should take care of itself. It should just immediately centrifuge it, bottle it, throw it back in the system. I Maybe. So we're making, uh, I just saw some more. So here's some more flower right coming in. Awesome. So that that's all working fantastic. It's really just the nomad bees. <laughs> they are not wanting to show up. There's probably a reason they're called nomads. They, they wander. They don't stay in one place. So I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep speeding these things up. And we'll, we'll come back when we have a nomad bee. All right. Well, good news is I got some crying obsidian. Bad news is I still have yet to get a nomadic bee or a nomad bee or whatever so with this crying obsidian hopefully i can break it with this awesome so the uses on this uh is that with if this would go away uh pretty sure with pedestal if i've got lava inside a pedestal on top of crying obsidian with a material generator i can get infinite obsidian I know that, that that's not really eh, it is what it is on that but i mean i've 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 been working towards that for a while <laughs> that's what this setup over here was for as well was to do blaze rods into obsidian so now i don't have to do that so that's great so the only thing left is getting a gosh dang nomad b <laughs> we'll see what happens In the meantime, I noticed that while I was waiting on a nomad bee to spawn, which it still has not, uh, these guys are close to done. This one's going to spawn any minute. Uh, still have yet to get a nomad bee. Uh, but I noticed that one major thing is that I was low on bottles. So I've decided to do a loot fabricator with witches. And if a witch is produced, uh, you just saw it there for half a second, uh, it makes bottles. So there's some other stuff that I can get from witches, but I, I don't really need them. So I am up to uh, quite a bit of bottles. Let me see. Yeah, because that's not 100% accurate in there, so... Hopefully that will, and that should like prioritize bottles. Let me, 
because I don't I don't really know how I've got this set up right now. Uh, let's just set it to ten. So it's a high priority. So hopefully it will import bottles in there before it puts them in my actual system. Well, I don't know what I have my actual system priority set to. Oh, like two hundred. Uh, um, let's just set it like also to ten. I don't know. Point being, I'm going to start getting bottles in my system um, while we are waiting for these bees. I did some other stuff, but nothing like super important. So we are still waiting for bees. This is still going super well. Um, I started running into like an issue where certain combs were producing material other than honey that couldn't go into a bottle that was still being dumped into the bottler here. So I've just stopped these guys and some of these from actually uh, being processed. So this back here is now still doing that, but everything else, I think it was mainly just like experience bees. Uh, I had some of those in here. Oh, something just popped out. Digger. Nope, don't need that. So, I, I guess we're still waiting. I really don't know what else to do in the meantime. There's nothing else I can do on camera. So, waiting on bees. Okay. It is the end of the episode. We do not have a nomad bee. But, there is hope. Hope is not lost. It's going to take a whole episode to get it done, potentially depending on how long uh, it takes to find what I need to find. But in the next episode, I found a way to get a Nomad B that doesn't involve waiting forever for these guys to show up. We're going into the nether. Why are we going into the nether? Because I found out, because I did some testing in a test world, and I was just looking through a whole bunch of stuff, different ways to get sulfur, different ways to get you know loot bee spawns get nomad bee spawns get something but i figured it out i also some of the stuff i got from a loot bee and i don't know it's like filling up my inventory i don't know what all of this is anyway uh if we search nomad bee so this guy all fine and dandy it, it, we click on him Sneaky bee will lay its egg in nest belonging to the ashy mining bee. Clearly, not a thing. I don't know if it's like this game disabled that, or like the... I, I don't know. I've tried forever. I even went to a creative world and like rapidly sped up the speed of like bee spawn rates, and it never showed up. But then I hovered over the bee spawn egg. Can be bartered from piglins. So I went into a nether test world and I tried that out. It took a while, but I got two Nomad Bee spawn eggs. So in the next episode, we are going into the nether. We're going to fly around. We're going to take a whole bunch of gold with us. And we are going to uh, barter with some piglins if we can find them. So that's that's going to be the next episode, is, is that plus whatever else we can figure out. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later.